Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make an in and out animal style burger and animal style fries. I've never had in and out before, so I was really excited to make this and to see what all the hype was about. So let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by prepping our ingredients. So we're going to begin by dicing one large onion. Then slicing one tomato. Now we're going to prepare our lettuce. And recently I found out that if you hit the bottom of a head of lettuce really hard, you can remove the core. So that's a cool little fact I found out from TikTok and someone in the comments mentioned it in one of my videos. I ended up shredding my lettuce because I didn't realize in and out didn't shred their lettuce until after I had shredded it. I think I was thinking of Five Guys when I was shredding it. So it, don't shred your lettuce if you want it to be the exact same. Shred it if you just want to. Now in a small bowl, add a half a cup of mayonnaise, a half a cup of ketchup, one fourth cup of sweet relish, one teaspoon of mustard, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Then mix everything until well combined. When you're finished, set your sauce to the side. In a large pan over medium heat, add some oil and then add some butter. Once the butter has melted, add your diced onion. Lightly season your onions with salt and pepper. Then just cook your onions until they are golden brown. Once your onions have caramelized and they're a nice golden brown color, take them off the heat and set them to the side. Now we're going to toast our buns. In a large pan over medium heat, melt some butter. Then add your buns. Toast your buns until they are golden brown. Once you're finished toasting your buns, take them off the heat and set them to the side. Now we're going to prepare our patties. This step is totally optional, I just like to do it because it kind of makes it easier when you're cooking burgers. Roll your beef up into medium sized balls. Then, take your beef and flatten it with a spatula. Mm. 
Also, it's easier if you place a piece of parchment paper under the beef instead of over it. When you're finished flattening and shaping your patties, set them to the side. Next, in a small bowl, add 1 tablespoon of seasoned salt or regular salt, a half a tablespoon of black pepper, 1 4th teaspoon of onion powder, and 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix everything together until well combined. Take your patty and add your seasonings. Okay, so In-N-Out doesn't add seasoned salt, onion powder, or garlic powder to their burgers. I just wanted to add that because I like to season my meat really well. Now, in a large iron skillet over medium heat, add 1 tablespoon of olive oil, or vegetable oil. Once your pan is hot, go ahead and add your patty. Then let it cook for 2-3 to three minutes. Once 2-3 to three minutes have passed, add mustard to the uncooked side of your patty. Then flip it. Add your cheese and let it cook for another 2-3 to three minutes. To help the cheese melt, add a little bit of water in the pan, then cover it with a lid and let it steam. Now that our patties have finished cooking, we can go ahead and assemble our burger. First, add your sauce to your bottom bun. Then add pickles, lettuce, sliced tomatoes, your patty, your caramelized onions, your second patty, and your bun. Now we're going to create our animal style fries. Cook some frozen fries in your air fryer or oven. Or you could cook your fries from scratch if you really want. Once your fries are finished cooking, place them in a dish. While they're still piping hot, place two slices of American cheese on top of your fries. The heat from the fries will melt the cheese. Once the cheese has melted, you can go ahead and add your caramelized onions and your sauce to the fries. And that's it! You are all finished! And this is the finished result! It turned out really good and I'm super proud of it! The patties were well seasoned and tasted really, really good. 
the mustard added an interesting flavor and it made the patty even better, so the burger was delicious. I would have never thought to add mustard to the burger and I thought it was kind of strange, but it actually ended up tasting really good. Also the sauce is absolutely delicious, I love it. You could eat it alone with some fries. By the way, the recipe I used for the in and out sauce was from Healthy Junk Food, so I'll have the link to their recipe down in the description below. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!